So at the, at the beginning I explained, uh, you know, I mentioned that we, we set up the office a year ago and we had this product that worked over coax and we went round to a lot of uh, uh, our customers, particularly the Pro AV guys and the consultants on that side. And they, well, if they saw the benefit of sending the video, video o over coax, the next question came up was, yeah, but I need to control the screen, so how do, how do I do that? I need to send control signals over the screen. And actually, at about the same time, um, the next speaker, one from Algadata in Portugal, they found us because they've been testing, they've been wanting a product that was able to send video over coax that was really good quality, and they tested lots of other competitors. They found us and they wanted to talk to us because they were doing projects in Portugal um, to put video out to screens. And then we started talking to them, and then it all came together that they can produce something that also allows allows them to send video and their content out to out to the screens, but it also uh, gives us the ability to switch individual screens, just like you would with a matrix switch, so switch the channels on, on individual screens. So at that point, I'm going to hand over to John. Gonna give Thank you. you. <laughs> Rob didn't want to introduce me because he, he was a little bit sleepy by now. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, I, and this is a little bit of because we made the, uh, a similar presentation, so I'm trying to, to keep in the same line as in the morning. And I, I start by saying that English is my third language, so if you don't understand anything I say, just let me know, just put the, the, the end on the air, and I'll try to, to explain myself, okay? So my name is Juan, um, I'm the product manager for Control and Signage Solutions on Algar Data. Uh, as Rob said, we are in Portugal, but we are also representation in Spain, Africa, South America, and we are even thinking um, North America in the near future. So we have uh, um, a full world representation, I would like to say. And I'm here to speak about uh, Unique TV, which is one of our brands, uh, about digital communication and control solutions for the TV. Uh, the agenda is quite simple. Uh, I'm going to speak a little over, uh, about control over coax. Um, a signage that we have, a signature solution, a solution that we have, and also um, how we can make control through the coax and also using IP, okay? And use the same platform to, co to control the, using two different technologies. So, um, talking about the challenge. So, um, we met uh, ZV in IZE. Uh, in that time, I was looking for a solution that could transform HD into coax signal. Uh, we tried a lot of, of, of systems, but ZV was the only solution that we found out. He delivered uh, enough quality to transform uh, HDMI signal for signage into high, high quality coax um, signal. And we were able to deliver uh, a full signage channel uh, in the hotel market, which is a market that we work a lot. That is, uh, it, 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 the demand for quality is, is huge. The people who work with touristic sector know this. They want high quality signal in the bedrooms. And so what, what we did is we, we took our channel solution, our signature solution, um, injected into ZV and <coughs> ZV injected into the ad end, to a digital ad end in the hotel. So we deliver high quality and high definition channel to every bedroom in the hotel, okay? So after having this um, challenge sorted, uh, ZV uh, talked to me about another problem that they have, that was controlling TVs over uh, coax. Um, we were already doing this control, but using IP, using wireless, and hospitality systems from uh, Samsung, for instance. But um, this would require that the customer change the TV, and not all customers are ready to change 30 or 40 or 50 or whatever number of TVs that they have. They want to keep the TVs that they have, but do some kind of control. So this was the challenge. Um, we had um, some issues to solve this, but in the end, we uh, were able to get to a solution that is using internet. We communicate with a router who sends a signal through a cascade coaxial installation, and we are able to control, to control individual TVs with IR commands, okay? Change the channel, mute, um, turn on, turn off, um, and virtually any kind of command that you can send via through uh, IR because we are able to uh, configure the solution. Okay, so uh, for for a starting point, we started with. Uh, it's not very visible, but this is 
volume up and down, channel up and down, turn on, turn off, and mute. But uh, we already had some requests for uh, programming some channels, okay? So if we can send the change to the channel five instead of going one, two, three, four, five, okay? It makes sense, okay? Um, any other requests? Well, we are a developing company, so we are able to easily uh, adapt and adjust those requests to any installation, okay? Um, are you understanding until now? <laughs> Thank you. Applications for this kind of solution. Okay, sports bar, clearly. Um, mm. If you want to, to change the channel in, in a sports bar, you want to put another game or another event that's happening in that specific television, okay, we can do it. Also, we can configure the solution and say, all right, this is a stadium. It's a huge stadium with a lot of televisions. I want to know in this zone what, which are the televisions. And in these zones, which are the televisions in this area, this area, and this area, and have this image, not only text, image in my software, so I'm able to easily track the television I want to change the channel. Okay, this is important to give usability to the software. We're not talking only about functionality, we need usability. You need the user to like and to be simple to use the software. This is one of our concerns. So there are some of the usages. So, um, Skipping the control part, going to the signage part, what we did is, is quite simple. Um, we took our signage solution, and I believe that the strong point of our signage solution is that the user is able to update the content, so it doesn't need expertise or a specialized company or to take a two-year two course to, <laughs> to learn how to change an image or a video or a text or whatever. He can do it using a tablet, using a smartphone, using a PC, it's agnostic from software, so it doesn't have to be Windows, it can be Linux, it can be whatever, it can be Apple, iOS, and he's able to control the contents of the channel that he is going to put in, in his hotel, in his company, in his hospital, and whatever, okay? Deliver a channel through coax in high quality that I control. This is the main, the main message. So as I explained, there are several applications for this too. Uh, we have this upstairs if you want to see the, the solution working, and especially to see the quality of the final product. I think that's the, more, the most important part, and ZD, of course, of course plays a role, an important role in that. Uh, I can give an example. This is a 240-bedroom hotel in Albufeira. It's called Conforatej. Uh, you know Algarve? Who has been to Algarve? Yeah, great place to be, yeah. Um, so this, this customer wanted to give uh, not one, not two, but three different channels in the bedroom. One in Portuguese, one in English, and one for, I think they, they like to sell the call time share. I believe that you have heard of this. <laughs> so the time share channel is the one going up first, of course. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the English, and then we have the Portuguese channel. And then we have normal TV programs, okay? A sky, whatever. But the first thing that the customer takes when he turns on the TV are the, the communication channels from the hotel. They want to promote an event. They want to change the menu of the restaurant. They want to do anything. They do it themselves on the end day. And most of the time, the person doing this is from the reception. It's not an expertise in Photoshop or whatever. It's the receptionist, the receptionist okay? It's done. Okay, another solution that we have, uh, which is very interesting, is um, using, here we are talking about smart TV technology. And what we, we, what we are able to do is to put signage directly into the TV without having to um, have any connection or any other equipment aside of internet and the TV. So the TV connects via wireless to the internet. And if you want to update some content, you can do it. Um, one of our concerns was to be able to control multiple sites in the same software. For instance, uh, you know Benfica, the football club? Yeah. It's nice, not the best in Portugal, but it's nice. <laughs> um, so Benfica is the biggest club, of course, in Portugal. Um, and Benfica uh, has 300 franchise restaurants that are called Casas de Benfica. So these restaurants are controlled by the Benfica's uh, marketing team, which are two people. So what they do is, and this happens also in sports parts, etc. During the, the time the Benfica is playing, Befic has full control of the TV, so um, you only see football. But in the break, <coughs> instead of having normal publicity, we change the channel. Befica changes the channel, and it changes to their own publicity. 
So first, we're not breaking the law because we are not, uh, you're, by law, you cannot put uh, uh, content upside uh, uh, on top on other channel or other TV channel. That's in Portuguese law, you cannot do this. I don't know here in the UK, but in Portugal you cannot do it. But you can change the channel and that's what they do. So one guy sitting on Lisbon touches a button and the guy in France <laughs> sees the, t the television change and it puts its own signal channel. So you see the idea here. We are able to deliver to the customer not only controlling the TV, but also the possibility of having publicity, uh, advertisement, <laughs> not publicity, advertisement, of its own on any device that he has. So this is a very powerful business tool for the customer. For, for us, uh, we see that the TV, not only, it's not only um, uh, a necessity, it's also a way of selling for the customer. And we need to understand that this is a, a part of the business, an important part of the business for the customer. So what I'm saying is, okay, you have to invest on the TV, but you have to need to have the TVs. Okay, make some money on this. Here's a way of doing it. Here's a way of repaying your investment. Okay. So applications for this solution. Of course, everybody that needs a television can have this kind of, uh, uh, of course, commercial. Okay, not residential. All of this is commercial. Um, finally, I'm going to speak, um, until now, everything is okay? Yeah? Uh, I'm going to speak of uh, uh, an example that we have in Portugal with PT. Uh, the guy up there works with Nash, so it's a <laughs> that's the competition for us. Okay, so PT is like uh, France Telecom, Swisscom, whatever. Everybody that delivers a television uh, signal to residential or to commercial or whatever. So, PT found out that uh, for the restaurant, there could be a business opportunity if they were able to change and put some content of their own when they, when they have the TV on. So you're in a restaurant, you're eating. If you see, for instance, an image of a dessert, a very good photo of the dessert, that could imply that you buy it. Not necessarily true, but if you sell more 30 or 40% of desserts, it's a good business, no? So what PT did was they made a, a closed packet and they sell it, a uh, package, and they sell it uh, on a monthly fee. Why? Because the, the, the customer from BT already pays a monthly fee for television channel, for internet, for the router uh, rent. So what they did is, okay, now you have a TV here, LED 47, 46 inch or 55 inch TV, and you pay 30 uh, euros per month. And I give you software, okay, power over television, and the television. There you go. And they give you some training. Okay, it's done. And after this, they sold 1,000 TVs <laughs> in four months. It's not bad. Okay, for them, excellent business because they their business is to sell a month fee over something. Because with this, they sell internet too because people need to update the content, and they sell a tablet too because people need to change occasionally the fee, understand where this is going. You know? Okay, so this is a business driver, but for them. Uh, it was a, a great business opportunity, and they are only working in the uh, restaurant and uh, clinic sector. They, are not, they haven't gone yet to another sector, but they are going to be there, because it works. So it's a way of doing business and ideas. Uh, of course, a platform, uh, you can see it upstairs, and um, it's just one platform. It's just one platform, so the, the look and feel is the same for all the solutions that we're speaking about. We're not talking about different images, different interfaces, all the same, okay? And of course, allows the customer in, in the final of the day be different. So this is the idea, this is where we, we're coming from. Okay, my name is Juan. Uh, I hope you have understood my English. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, I'm available. Uh, we have some time, I believe. So, yeah. Yes? Can you explain again? how PT got involved selling a menu service to, a, to their customer, just one more time? Yeah, That's of course. Okay, so, let's talk about first the solution. The solution is a TV, a smart TV, okay? A smart TV, and a piece of software, installation. This, and, and training, of course, as installation, installation, and training. This is the product, okay? And let's suppose this cost to PT uh, 800 euros total. to give another 
because uh, this equipment has three-year warranty. So the only thing breakable here is a TV, and it has three-year warranty. So nothing breaks. So who, so who prepares, so how is PT involved? Are they prepared and they just, they they just, they just, they just, sell. just selling the service? We do it. Okay. We, Samsung, we with Samsung and with Farmer. So they're just the service provider yeah. making the invoice yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are just taking the rest of it. They are the sales force. Okay. So, and I don't want to sell because sell is a lot of effort. I do a good product, I don't have to sell it. Right? Yeah. That's why I have distribution, that's why I have the integrators, that's why I have the so uh, we are focused on doing a good product and having great support, and then put it in the channel so that it's PT. Okay? Any more questions? Yes. The domestic control system. So if we are selling our internet around the house with products, we're yes. putting two or three skyboxes and a DVD player. The system works with that. They have uh, IR control, right? Yeah. yeah, so the system works. And now you have to, to wait to see if the investment compensates or not. But you can control every, virtually everything that has IR or wireless, you can control the other system. Not only IR. Is it similar to demo time? Yeah, okay. or, uh, Is it the same thing or the difference? Uh, I think it's some difference in, in, in a way that uh, the software is different. The best. <coughs> we are working on the cloud for the software. So um, all, all the, the customer needs to uh, access the internet, access the browser, and so on. I think it's a bit busy in my talk. But I have to see to If you're leaving the I on a smart TV control, so I'm not stopping the mountain of public TV control on the glass. Uh, sorry? If you're leaving the IR and the smart TV control, so I'm not stopping the members of the public taking control of the glass. I'm not doing it, I'm taking it off. I disconnect, if, if this is a decision from the customer, mm -hmm. but we control the, the, the TV enough. I are, you put the plug on the TV, so you're blocking all the signal signal. Of course, if you want to go there and just take out the, 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 the IR control system, that's going to happen. Uh, in fact, I can live on that. But if the signal is closed, you cannot go with a, 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 a phone and a lot of other controlling changes, it's not going to work, but it's covered. Okay, so IR is covered. Regarding uh, Wi-Fi, um, we control the firmware of the TV. So I can uh, eliminate the control from it. And we have done it. We have a customer that the only thing that works is power and power, nothing else. And we can do even this way. We can say the, the remote simply doesn't work. The IR simply doesn't work. We can go that far in control. Because we are on the firmware. Sure. That's right. we have a, an image that we can show you to see where are the parts of the equipment especially in a cascade um, coaxial installation you need to see what parts we are putting equipment because you need to put some equipment okay but you do not change the basic installation which is the, the more important thing here so the customer is taking the most of the existing parts installation uh, upstairs i can show you how this works i thought it was worth mentioning because it's quite a unique Yes, okay. If it wasn't, I, I'd rather show it to you in a, in a picture than <laughs> explain it here because it takes some time. But uh, uh, we have it upstairs, okay? So in the break, if you want, we can show it to you. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.